Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Benton. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am the composer of Resolve. My goal with this piece was to tell the story of someone faced with a really difficult decision. They go through emotional turmoil as they go over their options in their head, but in the end, they joyfully find a solution. So thanks again to Duo Sonda, and I hope you enjoy. My name is Leah Mullen. I'm from Oswego, New York, and I'm the composer of Drift. The concept behind this piece is using different aspects of music um, to help define a relationship between two or more instruments. So in this case, um, the two instruments start with the same articulations, the same pitch language, same rhythms, whatever it may be, and then um, there, those aspects of music start to drift apart from each other and then back together.
Hi, my name is Dimitri Hunter, and right now I'm in Morgantown, West Virginia. Today, Duozano is going to be playing called, my piece called Countryside View. So my inspiration for this piece came from listening to Irish folk music and Celtic music. I really enjoy how the melodic lines in those music can be very beautiful and somber sometimes, and then also upbeat and energetic. So I wrote the piece to be a program programmatic piece that tells a person's journey from the countryside into a town where a jig and festivity is going on and then back to the countryside. But in the recap at the end of the piece, when it gets to the countryside, it's more sad and upset because the person has to leave the town that he just entered. Also another thing I explored was ornaments that are common in Irish folk music, which were cuts, taps, pats, short rolls and crayons. Um, I really wanted to explore the Irish folk styles like ballads and jigs in this piece to show that these two styles can go together and um, be separated and also the layering that happens in these folk songs. So I hope you enjoy this piece and I can't wait to hear it.
Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Alvin Leung. Thank you for tuning in for today's concert, which is part of the special virtual edition of the Charlotte New Music Festival. I'm born and raised in Hong Kong, but I'm currently staying in my apartment at Bowling Green, Ohio. I'm happy to share with you all a little bit about my piece to be premiered soon by the wonderful duo Sanda called Vespertine Visions. This new piece is scored for two concert flutes and is written between mid-March and early April, which is the first few weeks of the quarantine period, with lots of news and information to be absorbed and lots of adaptions to be made. This piece is an abstract representation of the extreme contrast between the sensation of looking out of the window, seeing the sunset and hearing the quietness of the muted world, and the inner emotion of a heart that is full of uncertainties, worries, and anxiety. I would like to express my gratitude to Duo Sanda for their fantastic interpretation of my piece. We had a great time working together during the rehearsal, and I'm looking forward to hear the final product. I hope you all enjoy the piece and the rest of the program. Thank you so much.
Hi everyone, I'm Alexander Fruiseko, the composer of No Man is an Island for Dual Zonda at Charlotte New Music Festival. I'm based out of Miami, Florida and thrilled to share this virtual concert space with you. I'm excited for you all to hear the world premiere by Dual Zonda. Hi, my name is Jake Miles. I'm currently in Orange County, California, and this is a piece titled Awakening. It's a duet for concert flute and alto flute. It begins with a really simple motive, sort of in a typical passage between the two voices that repeats and develops throughout the piece uh, and eventually reaches a climax, which is the awakening of the piece. Uh, and it incorporates some extended techniques for flutes, such as whistle tones, harmonics, flutter tongue, uh, that creates some really unique textures that the flute has to offer and sort of help develop the piece and help it reach its awakening. Uh, so thank you for listening and a big thanks to Duo Zonda for premiering this piece.
Hi, my name is Elias. I'm a composer and visual artist, and I wrote the piece Underwater Breathing Exercise for Duo Zonda. Um, I wrote this piece at a pretty difficult part of my life. Um, actually, just COVID was starting up, and all the events surrounding the pandemic caused a lot of stress for me, and at the time it felt like I was really suffocating under the pressure. So that's what I wrote the piece about. Um, the first movement, Plunge, is about being submerged in water and kind of struggling it against it. And the second movement is about emerging from that stress and not really being able to fully process it. Um, like knowing that something traumatic has happened and knowing that it's over, but not being quite sure what to make of it. Um, this piece was really challenging to write, it was really interesting to write, and I hope you guys enjoy this fantastic performance by Duo Zonda.
Hello, my name is Anthony R. Green, the composer of The Green Double, A Little Light Music. You may have come across my name through my work with Castle of Our Skins, an organization that I co-founded in 2013 with my friend Ashley Gordon, amazing violist. Or you may have come across my name because you read an article that I wrote on New Music Box. Or perhaps you've come across my name in social media because I love to share stories and connect with composers and creatives, especially black creatives, on social media. But for those of you who know me a little bit more personally, you know that I have a twisted and a nerdy sense of humor. And if you haven't come across my twisted and nerdy sense of humor, then you probably haven't hung out with me long enough. The Green Double A Little Light Music is definitely an example of my sense of humor. It's a very light piece that I composed after composing a series of heavy pieces, and I really just wanted to geek out on this. So for the flutists out there, you'll hear some quotations of some of my favorite flute music. And for everyone else out there, I hope you enjoy this funky, kind of twisted narrative that I put throughout the piece. And for everyone, I just wanted to tell you that the main question driving this piece of music for me was, what would Quantz compose if he were alive today and were a black man? Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 